What's up, you guys? It's Ron Raphael with RaphaelFilms.com, creators of HearArtist.pro. And as promised, in January 5th, 2018, I was going to bring you coverage of the International Hair Show brought to you by ISSE. We call them IC in Long Beach. So let's check it out. A couple things stood out right away. Well, besides it was a beautiful day again in Southern California, it was not too many people. I got choice parking right away in an unmetered spot. Thought I was just lucky, but as it turned out, it was indicative of what the day was going to be like. So we started droning, and by the time we made it inside the event, we realized, from my perspective anyway, because I've been a hairstylist in Long Beach for over 17, 18, 20 years, that there was at least one to two thirds of the people that were normally there at these shows. So I don't know what was going on, but it made the day very pleasant actually, getting around, filming for you guys, covering it, hanging out with my girl Juanito Carrillo, the latest addition to HairArtist.pro, and also catching up with Don. And by the way, Don from 3D Silk says, what's up? See you guys. July 29th and 30th, Palm Springs, California, at the Western Mission Resort. The clear-cut standouts of the show were the barbers. They almost took the place over. They were on every professional presentation stage along with the rest of the stylists, including braiders. Braiders doing braided styles along with other uh, fashioned uh, 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 updos and so forth. But braiding was definitely the other champion of the day. Um, they had barbering competitions. I covered that. But by and large, I covered the floor, which was very easy to get in and out of. It was real nice being that there was one third to two thirds of the people. But the quality of the show didn't let off at all. Congratulations and hats off to ISSE, the International Hair Show Board that put this together. They did a great job once again. There were women walking around with short mohawk haircuts. And guess what? Barber designs. You know, I remember when we were being thrown out of school for having too many lines in our hair. But now it's been accepted by the mainstream. They've stolen our style once again. But it's all good. That means we keep doing what we do and they're going to keep doing what they do. You know, the creators and the imitators. But back to the show. So those two things did stand out right away. Those three things. That the scant number of people, the barbers and the braiders. Uh, but beyond that, it was a very nice show, as I said before. The admittance fee was what? $70 for two days. And if you registered late, it was $90. Not too big of a deal for a stylist making $65,000, $100,000 a year like many of our stylists in our market are doing. A couple things of note. One. I hung out with my girl Juanita Carrillo, the latest addition to HairArtist.pro. And she'll be doing editorial makeup for you guys in front of the camera. And she'll be part of many of the editorial shoots, videos, and all the work we'll be doing behind the scenes. So what's up to Juanita Carrillo? And you'll be checking her out very soon for classes and so forth. Also, Don from 3D Silk. He says, see you in July at his event. I'll see you there too. I'll be teaching barbering. All right, guys. This shit is done, man. Choose a language, but I'm out of here. That's it for this edition of HairArtist.pro. Remember to sign in down below and stay connected and also to tell a friend. Until next time, it's Ron Raphael with RaphaelFilms.com. And that's with two R's. Peace.